So the variable function is called TM recover resource manager, and it is trying to do a recovery of something. And if we look at the code, we see it works up a linked list, checks some flags, releases some mutex, and sends notifications. The fact that it sends notification, we're actually going to use it from userland because we're actually going to abuse the fact that it sends notification to read them from userland and know exactly what enlistment was last touched. So that's very important for us. This function is parsing enlistments. And so you should probably try to remember this graph. And I think it's very important to visualize this graph when you're actually exploiting this bug, because I think it helps, especially if you're a visual person. So there is the care resource manager, which is the argument of the function. And from this resource manager, it is going to take the enlistment head. Then it's going to go through the different enlistments, each one part of one transaction. It could be a different transaction or the same. It doesn't really matter. But what matters is that it is passing the enlistment. And for each enlistment, it is checking the flags. It is either acquiring the locking, the mutex of objects, what it needs to modify them, or the code is releasing, which is unlocking the mutex when it wants to allow other code to modify this object. And so it's just like usual code in kernel. But most importantly, the goal of the function is to notify the enlistments in order to let them know of the, of the different states that have changed. And so from a high level, that's pretty all we need to remember. The fact that it locked the mutex or released them is, is important for the bug, but it's just a detail in terms of functionality.